Now, on this show, we've only got and got ourselves an X Factor winner, Joe McKeldry. We'll talk to him in just a moment. Uh, there is something else happening in Sussex today. Uh, it involves our next guest. He won the X Factor in 2009. He is only 22 and is about to bring out his fifth album. Joe McKeldry is in Sussex this weekend with his Evolution Tour. Joe McKeldry is back, taking to the road for his biggest tour yet. See him live across the UK and Ireland in 2015. Tickets on sale now from the venue box office. Joe McKeldry, live in 2015. Yeah, he was in uh, my neck of the woods, not uh, too far from where I live, at the Czech Mead in East Grinstead last night, and tonight he is playing at the Royal Hippodrome in Eastbourne. Good morning, Joe McKeldry. Good morning. Lovely to speak to you. How are you? Because, I mean, frankly, you had a late night last night, didn't you? Yes, I am. Um, well, well, not too late. I mean, I come off stage about 10 o'clock-ish, and then by the time, sometimes sometimes I'm up really late, and then sometimes I just crash straight out and I'm asleep within, like, half an hour. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. how tired I am. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I know that I saw you on uh, The Right Stuff, actually, uh, when it was half-term the other week, talking, you were on there doing, doing that show all week. You are always incredibly busy. Yeah, well, I, I get bored quite easily, so um, I, I'm, I'm very good. I've got a very good management team who um, who keep us busy. Um, and once I've had about two days off, I'm straight on the phone. I'm like, all right, well, let's do something now because I don't like sitting around. So um, I just think, why not? And, you know, like performing, it, performing, it, it, it's a big schedule, but it, if you enjoy it, it's not that hard, you know, and I love it. So it, it, although it's a lot of work, it, 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 it's quite easy because I, I have fun with it. And this this tour is is a pretty extensive tour to say the least, isn't it? Taking you right out, up and down the country. Yeah, I mean it, this 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 leg of it runs until um, end of July, and then we've got a bit of a break, and then I've just announced a lot of autumn dates as well. So um, I'm pretty much touring for the whole of the year, like with a few spaces in between. And uh, aside from, I mean, you've done the, obviously the X Factor thing that we know about, and then you went on and did Pop Star to Opera Star and took part in that. And, and then you went and did The Jump as well, which was incredible um, and slightly mad, may I say, for, for even yeah, thinking about taking yeah, part in that. that, that but that you won it. Weird, but you won it, though, didn't you? Yes, I did, with, with plenty of bruises. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, that was an amazing experience. Um, and again, I was, I was, it, was like, it was a last minute thing. I wasn't really supposed to be a part of the show. And they needed um, somebody who could ski a little bit. And I was actually on a skiing holiday. And um, I got called and um, was basically like getting the car at 6 o'clock at night and you're off. And the next day, about 6 o'clock in the morning, I was competing in the show. It was, uh, it was a quick turnaround. But I think, in a way, that kind of helped. It, um, I just threw myself into it. Yeah, it's, uh, certainly, you probably didn't have time to think about it. Um, can I ask you about your fans? Because, um, so when we tweeted last night to say uh, Joe's coming on the programme, instantly it was retweet after retweet. And w when we look, lots of, lots of people who've all got your face as their image, you've got some very loyal fans, haven't you? They're very, very loyal. Um, but you know what I always say? Um, without those turning up for the shows and um, keeping the interest there, you know, you can't do your job. You can... You can work as hard as you want, but if nobody wants to turn up at the show, that, then then obviously you, know, you can't make it work. But I'm very I'm very lucky. They're a very loyal fan base, and they they've stuck by us from pretty much from day one, um, which is which is really nice. And um, it's nice that when you, I mean I keep in touch with them all on Twitter and stuff, and I have a good connection with them as well. Yeah, indeed. Um, I've got to ask you: Have you got in your phone still a phone number for Shell Fernandez Vecini? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. She yeah. was your mentor. We should explain. Cheryl Cole, as she was then, was your mentor on the. And you had a really close bond on the X Factor, didn't you? Yeah, we're, I mean, we don't see each other all the time, but we're um, we're keeping contact every now and again and catch up with each other. So um, we've kept up a relationship. Very, very nice too. And uh, I, I mean, and actually, good on you as well for having such a variety of stuff. You've done the singing, you've done the other stuff along the way. We should say as well that if you want to go along tonight uh, to the Royal Hippodrome in Eastbourne, still I think some tickets available there. And then you're back in our neck of the woods, Hastings White Rock Theatre on the 31st of May, and the Pavilion Theatre in Worthing on th Friday the 3rd of July. So plenty of chances to see you in Sussex. Joe, have a really good time tonight. I will do. Thanks for having us. Lovely to speak to you. Cheers, Joe. It's uh, 13 minutes to nine.